is a interesting crossover from Kia. Now there is this beautiful key, sort of flat, but it looks pretty nice. Now you have options to unlock the back, unlock and lock the car. Now this car comes with a lot of equipment, has a nice design, sort of sportish. You have the LED lights over here, Xenon lights, you have the LED fog lights. You have a real intake over here. Looks nice, I like how this is closed. There's only on the bottom over here intake. Now, this is a 1.4 uh, petrol with 100 horsepower. You get this nice alloy wheels. I think these are 17 inch. Now you get this uh, plastic for mud, so pretty good. Go all the way to the back. And now let's see the back of the car. You have the LED lights on the back as well. Nice design. You have this big lights here, uh, parking sensors on the back, robust, a little bit of aluminum. You have a real exhaust over there. Now you have a rear parking camera and LED lights. Now you open it over here. Now this is a pretty decent trunk for a crossover. You have a cup over here. There is space. You have halogen lights over here. You can knock down this seat. These are together. Now you have a room for a spare tire over here. You can hook some bags over here both sides or over here something now you have a leather seats i mean partially leather we're gonna come to that in a moment now also lights led nice stop light i like this spoiler it looks sort of sportish now this reminds me of citroen cactus this doesn't end like this, it just ends in the mid-air, but looks nice, looks stylish. Now this is a two-tone, you have black roof, yellow sport. Chases of the car, you have black mirrors. Now let's sit on the back first and then we'll come to the front. Now you get a nice chrome uh, door handles, uh, this is plastic. Hard plastic, robust. Um, you have a leather here. This is leather, this is nice. Two-tone, as you can see, and two-tone leather. You have a leather, white stitches, so gray and black leather, and cloth. This tones looks really nice. Now you can open here the seat and knock it down. So you don't get a completely flat bottom, but you get a space for moving your things. Now I'm gonna try sitting over here. Now it is a bit I was on the front so I can put my knees over here. It's survivable but for average person should shouldn't be a problem. You have a USB charger on the bottom and this is the way it looks this window is actually big, so I don't think there should be a problem for visibility on the front. And let's get into the front. Now, isolation is pretty good. Closing sound is okay. Now, now you have here you can uh, wireless key so you can lock the car or unlock it because I have the key with me. Now, over here you have uh, all electric windows, you can lock the rear windows, uh, you have electric mirrors, you can fold the mirrors as well. You have a standard seat, manual one, you pull this to lean forward and back uh, and front, uh, uh, go up or down. Uh, this is something interesting, this is where you unlock the uh, cap for the 
for the fuel and I'm gonna get in this on the front soon you have a sport paddle so this is top package for the stinky stinger now the seats look nice uh, half leather half cloth they are a bit sportive um, maybe yeah, can do maybe better design but I think they're okay they're comfortable when I'm sitting now I do have enough space here even on the back for my head so pretty comfortable here I have a good uh, this is my view overview of the back I can see the dead corner as you can see there is a lot of space I can see behind me good enough now the Kia has a as you can see here blind spot detection you have a lane assist the computer tracks when you're leaving the, the lane if you don't give a blinker uh, it will give you a warning message after uh, multiple times to take a rest so it, it is tracking if you're tired you have parking here tire pressure ESP off uh, light switch for the for the commands uh, brightness control now you have this flat bottom sport steering wheel uh, nice soft leather over here it's uh, aired now you have white stitches you have your controls you have uh, voice commands you can use phone blue via bluetooth you have cruise control here and you have a uh, pedestrian uh, or collision warning so the car stops now you have a touch screen over here now everything is like it's not like japanese car it's more like uh, german cars everything is simple you know where it is so the touch screen is reachable you have radio media here maps gotta get into that in a second you have here uh, your ac controls are pretty standard pretty simple you have a start stop button here and you have your aux on the bottom a usb 12 watt charger as well this is just blank now you have a here this is rubber so you can put your phone over here this is also rubber you can put something over here you have heated seats front seats you have here heated steering wheel and auto off so this is pretty nice you have a six speed manual which is a little bit jerky it is it is it is short and I let's say almost precise but um, you you have this little button you push it in in the first gear for the reverse now this is nice looking this is um, plastic this is some sort of aluminium this is also hard plastic but these are all this is soft plastic actually and this is hard robust plastic now this has been done for saving so you can put all the safety technologies inside now you have a manual manual parking brake you have two cup holders over here let's see the glove compartment so I believe you have a light oh excuse me now there is a decent amount of space uh, this is the side you have a armrest here leather with white stitches you can extend it you have to press the button over here or lift it now there is a decent amount of space here for your stuff and as you can see it is extendable but it is fixed so it's locked so you have to press to extend it now you have here lock the car you have your hazards um, Kia doesn't have in this model and the side mirrors which wish they had that now let's start the now I like this you get the Kia logo here and watch over here I think I need to press it one more time so you get this nice radio now the speakers are really nice you have media here you have uh, uh, tracks here uh, change radio stations touchscreen really looks good it's responsive you have a navigation the SD card is probably not inside uh, you have touchscreen is really responsive so you have all these options here which I'm not going to get into They're pretty good 
you have a Bluetooth here <laughs> saying it. But overall, a nice car, not bad looking. Now let's start it. You get this message here, the car gets scanned. Now the parking, uh, it's getting a warning, I'm not, I, have, I don't have my seatbelt. You have a classical digital uh, speedometer, uh, nice lights with the white and red uh, combo, it looks sportish. You have all sorts of combination here, information, uh, systems off, systems off. You probably need to turn on the car and this options, driver assist. So there's a lot of options here. You can have the controls on the steering wheel. So I'm not gonna get into them. Over here you have uh, red uh, AC dials. Now I believe on the top of the lights are just halogen, but you get those big lights so uh, you won't miss anything in the dark. Now you have a nice, this is really soft uh, for your glasses, you have glasses compartment, you have a mirror, you have here a dimming options as you can see it's on. Over here you have a uh, mirror, hi guys, and on the top uh, you have to turn it on I guess, so, yep, no, oh, when you, so this is <laughs> smart from Kia, you have to turn it on, but if you close it, it switches the switch off so on the top here you have also a light but i would say it should have been a bit more far because it's in the middle it should be way back for the passengers now we have ac here is working it's nice and cool in the car uh, overall uh, the car doesn't look bad i'm gonna do a test drive really soon so guys this was a quick review and just gonna pop the hood to show you the engine push to the left now there is no dampener so you have to hold it you take this push it over there I had to do it with arm one arm because I have a phone in my hands now this is the Kia petrol engine, battery, charger, and looks pretty nice. So guys, thanks for watching this quick review. I'm gonna do a test run really soon, so uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Write in the comment below what do you think about the Kia Stonic. I think it looks good, it has a lot of equipment in the car coming standard and if you want to see the test drive make sure you subscribe to my channel and push the little bell for the notifications so you can see when I release a new video a test drive of the Kia Stonic. If you're from Croatia soon I will start Croatian reviews as well so subscribe to see it in the future. Now I'm here in Kia Salon and Volvo uh, all these cars are at my disposal so in the future there's going to be more car reviews so stay tuned. So see you in the next video. And for Croatian audience, this is the 1.400 horsepower. And this is the price tag.